Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Shout out to everybody who support me and the ones that hate me. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this. So as y'all see in the image, you see Bronny and his father, LeBron James. And on the other side, you see uh, three individuals. Joe Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, and John F. Kennedy. Now some of you are probably wondering, why in the world do I have the Kennedys up here with the James family, right? Well, all you've been seeing on TV really since yesterday on fire about Bronny declaring for the NBA draft. And you have people who will say that it's nepotism and he only getting it because of his father. And while I agree to a certain point about that, I don't have a problem with this. Number one, it's going to put butts in the seats. It's going to put eyes on the TV. And at the end of the day, the NBA is about entertainment. The reason I want to show y'all who the Kennedys was was because Joe Kennedy... Had it in his mind ever since he went to Harvard and was the ambassador that he was he was going to end up be trying to become president. One reason he didn't become president because he, I forgot off the top of my head, but I think he said some stuff with Hitler and of course that backfired and he put all his finances and resources into his kids. First, he tried to put in his older son, Joe Kennedy. And just stick with me. I'm going to tie this back in LeBron and Bronny. But he, he first he had Joe Kennedy. Joe Kennedy, you're going to become president one day. Joe Kennedy passes away, unfortunately, flying a, a secret mission over Europe. Plane blows up, right? During World War II, the 1940s. I believe 1944. So Joe Kennedy's gone. He tells Jack Kennedy, you up next. What does he do? This ain't no secret, y'all. So don't, don't, come on now. You know, rub some elbows, grease some pe grease some hands. He becomes one of the, uh, one of the youngest con one of the youngest congressmen, and before you know it, becomes the youngest president. I believe at the age of forty two. Now, when John F. Kennedy gets in office, he has Robert Kennedy as his attorney general. Now, this is all historically. You didn't see, yeah, it was people in uproar, but they called the Kennedys America's family. People loved them in the White House, especially when we went through the Cuban Missile Crisis. The reason I say all that is because what's wrong with LeBron doing this? We have not seen that since Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey Sr. I don't care how good Bronny is. We don't care if he's taking somebody's spot. If the job of the NBA is to move the needle and put butts in the seats. Period. Yes, the best players should be out there. But dar God darn it. And I really want to say something else. But honestly. They will put us out there. If we could if we could sell out games. Night in and night out. Now you might be on a bench. I might be. You know getting uh, Giannis or LeBron some Gatorade or whoever right. But they're going to have me out there. If they know that I can, I can sell tickets. Remember when Leandro Ball was in the Summer League and people were coming to his games and he was the fan favorite? You think they would have kept him on the team if it wasn't for that and for LaMelo? Same thing with Giannis and his brother Thanasis. Like, come on now. Stuff like this happens. This is why I think the Lakers are going to draft Bronny. Now, y'all can say the world is fair or should be fair. Life ain't fair. All of y'all who would have sons and daughters... If y'all could, y'all would put them in the right position. Even with baseball, look at Mike Piazza. His dad helped him get to, get into Major League Baseball. He ended up becoming a Hall of Famer. So I mean, you see stuff like this all the time in the world. Look at your look at your, all your history of kings. When they sons come up, they sons be 18, 19 years old. The dad passed away, and they then became king of of whatever country. Look at Alexander the Great. Philip of Macedon passed away. Alexander the Great becomes uh, king at 20 years old, conquers the majority of Asia. Nepotism. Nepotism exists and always going to exist. Now, I do think Bronny should come back. I think he should. I think it helped develop his game. But I can't tell him what he can and can't do. And I'm going to support him because at the end of the day, I've been rooting for Bronny since he was in middle school. I've been wanting to see this. Let LeBron have his dream. 
All fathers used to be able to dream for their sons. Now, it didn't happen the way he thought it was going to happen. You know, Bronny's not going to be a, a lottery pick and LeBron's going to sign with a team. But at the end of the day, if, if they want that dream to come true, let it come true. See, one thing we have to realize, Bronny obviously is with this because he declared for the NBA draft. He don't have to do it. Like LeBron said, he's his own man. But some people out there, you know, y'all don't know what it's like to try to manifest stuff for your kids. You ain't never had a 10, 15 year plan with your kids. You don't teach them financial literacy. You don't teach them how to th how life was back in the day during segregation when we owned barber shops and hair stores and you know Mr. Johnson's corner store and and Miss Pearl up the street sold candy. So you, most people not teaching their kids nothing. And I understand what Bronny was. I mean, what LeBron was doing, what Joe Kennedy is doing, what Levar Ball was doing. And the people who don't who think small, small minded, they're the ones who's in the in the comment section talking about let him be him. No, that's not how the world works. Successful people plan for their families a hundred years in advance. You really think the Fords is planning just just the next three, four years? Most of y'all barely think, and when I say y'all, I'm talking about the naysayers, y'all, not the ones who support me. But but most of y'all barely know any plans after this weekend you see what i'm saying so no i don't have a problem with this and if it work it work cool if it don't it don't even if Bronny signed a free agent deal with the lakers it is what it is everybody happy lakers saving money it ain't hurting Bronny money the nba gonna make money y'all gonna watch it y'all gonna critique him you know and i'm gonna be we all gonna be right up here talking about it and that's okay it is what it is, y'all. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. I mean, you see things like this all the time. I just want to show y'all one of the former presidents of the United States and his brother, who was the attorney general. You have not seen that since. Could you imagine? Ooh, see? Yeah, let me not let me not go in. But just do your research on that. But I want to give my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?